Hey everyone, and this is just going to be a short video briefly describing the differences between appreciate key and a passphrase when talking about Wi-Fi. Okay, they're not the same and I'm going to talk you through what the difference is in this video. Okay, so you've got your wireless network and you want to join it, so you put in your password and off you go. Okay, and if someone else wants to join and you want to let them, uh, you give them the password and they can do the same thing. Now, what you're using there is technically called a passphrase, okay? It's usually just a, a string of stuff that could be a made-up word that you would use, and uh, that's what most people are familiar with. But that's not the pre-shared key. Now, the concept of being something that's pre-shared is true. I mean, you're sharing it with the other party, so this can talk to, you know, they can talk to each other. So it's pre-shared, but it's not the key that's used. The key that's used is derived from that with a function. Now, the best way to explain that is with a demo. So over at the Linux box here, you can just run WPA passphrase without any arguments, and you can see that it wants an SSID and a passphrase. Now, that passphrase is what I just spoke of, the, the password, the one you're familiar with. So let's say I have a network called CWNE88 and the passphrase, my, my little password here, is just uh, some secret. If I run that, you can see what it, the output is. Um, this we already know, you know, the SSID. Now, what I put in here is some secret. You can see that's remarked out. That's not actually used. The pre-shared key is this long business here. Now that's 256 bits, okay? And that is what's used as a pre-shared key when we're not talking about .1x authentication. This is just for, you know, simple password auth. So that 256 bits was derived through a function. So what we can do is have a look at the source code and see what that function contains. So if we have a look at, uh, have a look at that function, this is what ran basically just then. Now there's not much to it. Um, just a bit of setup stuff here reading the passphrase, whop de wop This bit here, checking that the length is between 8 and 63 characters. So you can't have a four character password, It'll, it won't let you. But the main guts of it down here is what we're interested in. Okay, now this here is a password based uh, key derivation function to derive the key from a password, right? So it uses our passphrase, we know, you know, the passphrase we'll put in, which was some secret. Um, what have we got? The SSID, we know it uses the SSID. It uses the length of the SSID. And these values here, the 4096 means it runs the shard 4096 times. And 32 is the amount of bytes that it outputs. So 32 bytes times it by 8 gives you 256 bits. Okay, so what we're left with when we've done that is this... Uh, 256 bit bitstream. That's our pairwise master key. Now that key is the same for the access point and any client that has that pre-shared key because they can all derive it the same way. That's not the key that's actually used for the traffic encryption that's used for that person and I'll go through that at a later time but that's done, that's established during the four-way handshake. So if you capture the four-way handshake and you know either the PSK or the uh, passphrase you can decrypt the traffic then. But I'll go more into the four-way handshake at a later video. But I just wanted to show you briefly that there is a difference between what a pre-shared key is, which is what actually gets used, and a passphrase, or password commonly used. The passphrase gets run through a function to derive the pre-shared key. So we'll talk more on that later, but for now, that's just a bit of info for you. <laughs> 